Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. So I just finished with uh, these three arrangements. I have another one that I have to make. Uh, I just finished these three arrangements. I just went in to have some hot tea. Uh, by the time uh, the tea was just boiling, it started to rain like crazy and everything got wet. Uh, unfortunately, now I have to sit and dry all of these succulents with the help of tissue paper. Uh, and with the help of the succulent blower, I have to blow off all the water from the succulents i just wanted to give you a quick video on this because by tomorrow morning at around 10 they will be uh, gone from my place so i just wanted to quickly uh, show you a video of how the arrangement looks like it's a small uh, easy going arrangement uh, and also i was making some more of these uh, clay balls and i'm going to show you as well so some of you had asked me about these uh, stone decor that i use on my succulents uh, so i just make them into small balls and i keep them and you can see uh, these have all got wet uh, because of the rain uh, luckily there were few of them that have already uh, hardened up uh, like this one as well uh, it's hardened up so that's a good thing uh, but the rest of them have got wet uh, but i think they are all good to go they're already hard enough uh, so you can see these uh, probably I might color them I might not color them because I had used uh, uh, the brown extra red soil that I usually have excess when I tend to uh, filter the garden soil so that is what I had used but unfortunately even this everything got wet luckily it was already uh, hardened up otherwise everything would have melted by now so uh, that was a good thing probably I can use it in some other arrangements that uh, will be coming up in the near future it looks a little bit weird because it's not completely dry that's why uh, the lighter portion is what is going to be the finished product but uh, it looks a little bit darker because they just got wet but ideally they are lighter in color light brown in color so i'm going to keep them aside so it is just that you take clay and you just uh, you know make a shape out of it and you uh, let them dry because it contains cement as well uh, this is all from when I tend to make uh, excess pots, whatever excess material is left back, I tend to collect it, make round balls and just keep them to dry and then I can use them as a uh, rock decor. So I'm going to keep this aside, hopefully they will be dried by tomorrow morning. And these were a few of the pots that I had recently made, so whatever excess material was left. Uh, that's what I have made them into and uh, unfortunately these have already got dried so I don't have much of an issue even if they get wet uh, it's not much of an issue because they are already uh, dried and this is in fact uh, rainwater is going to help them cure much better uh, because they prefer a cooler environment when they are getting uh, cured they were already in water for a week and now I had taken them out to dry but they again got wet which is absolutely okay the more wet they get the more stronger they will get so that is a good part about these pots these are very very tiny pots unfortunately uh, when i seen the ad for the silicon molds the pots looked really big but uh, they turned out to be really small you can see this the size of my hand and these pots they are very very tiny but i really love the design so i'm okay with that i don't have much issues i can probably use these for uh, smaller uh, succulents or for uh, propagations they're going to work out really well so guys that's all about it i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating